What up guys, I'm Scully, the YouTube fitness community's best kept secret, and this is the SoFly Zone. Everything you see here has been filmed so that you can see what life's like for an aspiring fitness model. So, let's go. All right guys, headed home from work. Had a pretty good day. Uh, the video posted on OU in the fitness and it was a good, uh, you know, warm welcome, welcoming back. You know, it's always going to be a little bit of apprehensiveness or whatever. It's been a long break and like the people on YouTube can be so, I don't know, unforgiving. So it was good to see that, you know, it was well received. Um, actually going to go home tonight and think about what I'm going to record this weekend. Uh, usually I would go get like sushi today, but we're not doing that tonight. My girl has some other stuff to do. Um, and my friend sent me a coupon to Krispy Kreme for some free donuts. And I haven't eaten, I ate, I did eat lunch, but I didn't eat breakfast. So I, all I've had is like a protein shake and some, uh, what I had for lunch was just like a chicken salad sandwich. And you know, I'm trying to gain weight, but like right after uh, my last competition, you know, my appetite was through the roof. And you know, I couldn't stop me from eating. But now, I'm back to how things used to be. And it's, uh, I'm just not, you know, that hungry all the time, you know? But, so like something like this, it's easy to knock out a, a shit ton of calories in, in one swoop, you know what I mean? So I'm debating on whether I'm gonna, if I go, I might wait till later tonight, because I don't feel like dealing with traffic. Uh, it's on this street, clear view. I'm already gonna have to deal with traffic to get home, but you know, I'd rather get home, work on stuff, and then later tonight go swing out there and pick it up real quick. So yeah, uh, no gym today, I'm off from the gym. Uh, like I said, get some stuff done. I might, I might even go for a little jog. I don't know, it's just, maybe not. It's already like four o'clock. It gets so dark these days. There's not really much you can do. I have this little fitness center at my uh, apartment. I could like run on the treadmill in there if I wanted it, or there's like an exercise bike, but we'll see. But, um. Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna head home and I'll check it with y'all later. What up guys, about to eat dinner. Uh, I'll let y'all see it, it's just like some pulled chicken. Uh, made some toast, butter toast, put some garlic powder on there and then some mixed vegetables, fat-free cheese on top. I'm just used to having fat-free cheese. Die Dr. Pepper and uh, just gonna eat. play a little poker in the meantime, and then get to working on some stuff for the channel. But uh, yeah, I'll check in with y'all in a bit. All right guys, finished up with dinner. Got some ideas together for uh, the channel. Uh, got some topics I want to talk about, whatever, but so. And uh, yeah, that's going. So played poker and won some money in there. It's not real money, but you know, I just like the game, so. If it gets to a point like both people are putting all their money in and we turn over the cards and I had the best hand at the time Then I feel like I made the right decision. I'm you know, I feel like I played the hand well, you know um, But there's always an element of luck and you might still lose but you gotta kind of Try to separate the outcome from the, that's anyway, that's a topic for a whole nother vlog <laughs> You know the, the, the decision-making skills behind poker, you know, but uh Anyway, uh, one of my friends was telling me, like, you know, I posted the channel, posted a new video to the channel, and he was giving suggestions, like, I mean, you need to slow down your speech a little bit, you know, or, you know, he's just trying to give constructive criticism, and he was just like, man, you need to start, you need to start giving advice on, on, on getting girls, man, and, like, what's your mentality when, you know, back when you were single, how did you approach that whole situation? And I was like, ah, this... Uh, it's not really related to fitness, you know what I mean? But, 
you know, he's like, you know, most of those guys, the reason why they getting in shape and stuff, or, you know, they want to get girls. They want to help them boost their self-confidence and it's gonna, they makes them feel like, you know, if they got muscles or whatever, girls going to like them more and stuff like that. Maybe he's right, but, um, I mean, there's not, I feel like there's not that much to it, though. Like, there's, like, a few little things that uh, helped me get out of my own head when it came to uh, the opposite sex. And, you know, I kind of took it from there and just... Like, self-esteem is a, a big thing. People talk about be yourself and all that stuff like that. Just being comfortable in your own skin, being comfortable with who you are, goes a long way. And uh, that and not being afraid uh, to hear no, to get rejected, you know? So, and it kind of goes hand in hand. Like, if you're okay with yourself as a person and you go up to a random girl you don't know and all of a sudden she she rejects you, you know what I'm saying? It's not gonna like tear down your world. This person doesn't even know who you are. They don't even, they don't know you from anybody. You know, after five seconds, this was her reaction. That's not damaging to you. Maybe she just didn't want to be bothered. Maybe she, you know, just you're not her type or whatever. She's not, you didn't meet the criteria in the head of a guy that she want to talk to. Don't take it to heart. Don't, whatever, just go after the things you want in life. You know what I mean? And, yeah, like I, I always say, like back then, like no doesn't hurt, no can't hurt me, but yes feels really, really good. You know what I mean? So yeah, there's that, and like just over the course of time back then, there you know you're gonna deal with some rejection, and some of it leads to like funny stories. But the one that's I probably got rejected worse than this, but the one that stands out in my mind, like the one I always remember, is uh like one time was out me and a group of friends, maybe like four or five of us. And we had been out drinking, you know, partying, whatever. And it was getting towards the end of the night. And we had went to this bar that we, ha you know, we hardly ever, ever go to. I think we might have known somebody that was spinning there that night or something like that. So we are in there. And then there was this just, you know, there's girls in there. But there's this one chick. There's always that one chick, you know, that's, damn, that bitch is bad, you know. And uh, so guys were dancing with her. She seemed, like, kind of friendly. But it, it was like the guys who had who were known to have money and stuff like that you know so he, he wasn't sure if she knew them already or you know she was just doing whatever so back then i was the type like i you know there's guys who do the whole uh, they try to be super like gentleman like and you know go up to the girl oh, and ask her to dance or ask her to buy her a drink i was like, i used to not do any of that stuff you know my thing was you know I'd grab the girl by the hand and just start dancing with her or you know and if she dances well, then I might try to, you know, pull off the dance floor and talk to her or something like that. But most of the time, I'm just trying to see if the girl can dance or whatever. Just having a good time, you know? Uh, and for this, I, I kind of like went in it, went in it uh, half-assed. And, and this, no good deed goes unpunished. Like, well, I, I shouldn't say that, but like it's one of those things where you should have went with your first mind. Like, I always grab the girl's hand, get her attention, and make it. Like back then, it was like make it hard for her to say no. Like if you grab, if I grab your hand and not like grab it, but if I I take your hand and I start, you know, I put it around my neck, it's hard. You'd have to like pull away and like just be a total bitch to reject me. And I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the pressure on you to do it and not make it easy for you, easy for you to just say no, right? So, but this particular time, I kind of just went behind her and I just started dancing. And at first, it was all cool, like. We're dancing, I got my hands on her hip, we, you know, we grind a little bit. I guess, you know, the other dudes, they kind of just stand, they kind of just stick their pelvis out. But I was actually, like, kind of rocking with her, you know what I'm saying? So at first, she was, you know, like, doing it, she's getting into it, and all of a sudden, she turned around, and she realized I wasn't somebody that she knew, and she just stopped. So I'm like, you know, I'm doing, I'm all into it, all of a sudden, she looks back and just but starts having a conversation with the person in front of them, like, I'm not even, she doesn't move away, she doesn't walk or anything, and I was, I'm just completely embarrassed i was like damn that was that was rough but you know i shook it off and you know that was it you know so like you just learning to be able to deal with rejection if you can go out and get rejected uh, 50 times that'll do so much for your self-confidence as a guy you know, to know your self-worth and know that look it doesn't hurt that bad but eventually things are gonna kick off and it's gonna go further than that and you're gonna like those results but if you never try if you never put yourself up to get Rejected in the position to get rejected, you won't succeed. So that's that was like the first step to being more successful when it came to uh, women, I guess. But anyway, this is not 
this kind of channel or anything, but I figured might as well put something at the end. Sorry for the rant. Hope y'all like the vlog, and uh, check back later in the week, and I'll have another one of these.